Hello users. Today, let's unbox and play Silent Service 2. The World War II submarine simulation released by Microprose in 1990. First, let's take a look at the box. This is the original Amiga version, released in 1991. The screenshots on the cover are of the PC VGA release which supports up to 256 colors. Silent Service 2 is sequel to Sid Meier's Silent Service from 1985. It was a bestseller on the 8 bits and especially the Commodore 64, with 400,000 copies sold. The sequel sports, among others, improved graphics and gameplay, more options, and new missions. It is essentially the same game brought to 16 bit standards. Let's remove the sleeve and open the box. The game comes on two unprotected 3.5-inch diskettes which means that it can be backed up or installed to hard disk. In fact, you will be prompted to make backup copies when attempting to load from the original disks. The package contains a keyboard overlay for easy reference of the controls. Then there's a map of the theater of operations, namely the Pacific of the World War II era. This is the technical supplement specific to the Amiga, including hard disk installation instructions and a reference of controls. Installing to hard disk is very easy, thanks to the included utility. Finally there's the instructions manual with a detailed description of the game. It contains among others mission briefings, as well as historical background on submarine operations during the war against Japan in the Pacific.
Similarly to the first game, you are given the role of an American submarine captain. You can control your sub and its weapons from the various game screens. While complex calculations for enemy distance, speed and course are handled by the crew. You can put yourself in the shoes of a famous submarine captain by choosing to play a historical engagement, or you can embark on a patrol to seek out and destroy enemy vessels. Your choice of year and month affects available submarine and torpedo types, as well as enemy tactics and capabilities. The manual also serves as the game's copy protection, since you will be asked to identify an enemy ship upon loading the game. You will need to look it up here, unless you are familiar with such things. Let's take a final look at the box and its contents. Now close all hatches and let's dive on a mission.
That's all for today. Did you like it users? Until next time, here are some more videos for you.